So I'm going to just play with right at the, I'm going to have a dark across that edge, but I want to have just a little bit more interest along that back edge. So I'm going to pull, bounce some of that blue light from that hillside across the water to this side here, just enough to give us some interest and enliven this area so I can pull down some more bands, so I can pull across some more bands of color. Because unless I see it, I can't, unless I can exaggerate it, I can't see it. So I may, at this point, pull this horizontal down. I mean, it's vertical down. Pull this one down. And that's beginning to give me a sense of this diminishing form as well. And you notice I haven't looked at the photograph at all now for the last half an hour or so, because I'm kind of really involved with my own memories and uh, a desire to get this land to really go back. And I don't know that the photograph is going to help me do that. So I'm going to keep standing back and looking at how many of these bands I can put in and how many I can break to get this to go from here to there. And so I'll play with that just here because this is the, that's the, that's the, everyone's going to look at this, but this is the, this is where the nuts and bolts, this is the armature, this is what makes it work. So I'll pop these in. And I'll just put in a few more just to, just to make sure that I can see that broken band and make sure they don't line up with things that are already back there. Much thinner, much smaller. It's just a beginning. And now the larger I want this mass to be, the more powerful my verticals are going to be here. So if I want that mass to tumble down this hill a little more, I may put in another set of verticals that'll let me put in another bit of dark over here. Because I like the idea of getting a little more foliage. And I want to make sure I have enough paint so I can just come on top. And while that's there, I may take my first job with a smaller brush and pop in some lights along this edge. At this point, I'm not really worried about what they do. I'm just putting in lights so I can get higher contrast and more interest. And I want to make sure the spacing isn't too, you know, bop, 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 bop. So. And these are supposed to be rocks, so depending on how shallow and how, you know, that water comes in, I may pull them out a little bit more this way. And then I'll take my mixed purple, mixed blue, and cover that up. And just so you can see um, what that looks like, I'll actually start that. And then we're going to shift to the next painting. I think one of the big mistakes a lot of painters make is not getting dark enough uh, in, the, uh, in, their paint in their paint values. Um, I really think we can have a better sense of light and shadow if we, have an, if we have a substantial dark in the painting. So even though this will be covered up with some reflected sky, I tend to start at least a shade or two darker than I'm going to end up just to make certain that I get um, a heavy enough value.
this will be a transitional color right now, but right now I'm just going to make it pretty. And this still isn't my finished coat because of, for that purple because I've got to cover up this real heavy linen so it'll take another coat at least. I just want to get some paint down. Sorry, we're just waiting for it to come around on the guitar again. I guess my Alice's Restaurant quote was lost. And this is pretty much the end of the second, so this is the second time through, right? So we've, we've done one, and I've got it to this at this stage. Cover that up a little bit quicker. That's coming along nicely. Now I'm going to lighten it up just a touch, even though it's still going to be um, you know, darker, but I want to uh, get a sense of letting us get into the painting a little bit. These colors will be shifted. But even at this early stage, I still don't want to be too intimidating. So I'm going to brighten that up just a little bit. And that's a little banded, so I'll just break it up a little bit and then come back. See how that looks. That looks a little funky. As thick as this vertical was, it's going to need some more foliage up here, so I'm just going to make sure that it looks a little more natural. Okay, so this is the end of the second coat. So I have one coat. I've covered the whole canvas one more time. It took about 30 more minutes, maybe 45. That's it for the day. And we'll switch and put it aside and work on something else. But in fact, I've got another canvas. So it's a good time to break. <laughs>